Hey peeps, we are back. We are talking The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, season 11, episode 13. Before we get into the video, please do me the honors of subscribing to my channel, hitting the notification bell so you can always be notified when I post new content, hitting the thumbs up because that does wonders for my channel, and share. Thanks. So this episode starts off right where we left off. Sutton was explaining to the whole group that she has spoken to an attorney. She just really does not want her name associated in any articles in the media regarding her friendship or the Erica situation. Um, she says these victims that were affected were widows and children, burn victims, uh, women who had those hormones uh, settlements and she doesn't want to be associated with it. And I can't really blame her. You know, she says that she does a lot of philanthropic work. She's on a lot of boards. And the last thing she needs is for her name to be tarnished or for her to um, be suspect of anything. You know, sometimes people believe that birds of a feather, you know, uh, saying. Of course, Lisa Renna, who nobody asked, jumps in, doesn't understand that. And you know what, of course you don't care, Lisa. You do not have a reputation to protect. Your reputation is not in good standing anywhere. Then she goes in to say, well, I don't understand why you're worried about your reputation. Erica is our friend and she's hurting. We should think about her the same way you thought about Denise Richards last season, the same way you treated Denise who was your friend. She was hurting. Why couldn't you have all of your feelings aside? You couldn't, you couldn't. So you trampled all over Denise, but we're supposed to cradle and coddle Erica. I don't think so. So while Lisa was going through her big spiel about Erica and her feelings, Sutton looks her dead in the face and she says, to me, I'm more important than Erica. Okay, okay. Now let me just say this. Earlier in the season, Sutton was out of control. I have no idea what was going on with her. She was very odd. But right now, I am team Sutton. She is saying what needs to be said. She is not letting the wool be pulled over her eyes. She knows that something is not right with this story. And I don't blame her for not wanting to be associated, especially when she has a reputation to uphold. You know, a little bit kooky, a little bit crazy, but also a businesswoman. Now, I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but in the last two episodes, not one time, not two times, not three times, mostly about, I think about four times, Kyle has referred to not reading the whole article. It was too long. And I'm thinking, you must not read books or anything either, right? This New York Times article was so long that you couldn't sit down and read it after all of these days. For some reason, she doesn't want anybody to know that she read this article. I think that she's lying. It's just my opinion. I think that she has read that article fully, multiple times. Quit lying. You're bringing it up too much. I don't want our support of Erica to be misinterpreted as support for some of the atrocious things That's that right. have been yeah. done. All right now. All right now. Thank you very much. You can't stand behind Erica because she is your friend, especially if she is telling lies and you have these victims out here. I appreciate friendship. I really do. I appreciate loyalty. But if you are out here spending money that belong to these victims, these people who have suffered, these people who are still suffering, people who still need multiple procedures, no, I can't stand behind that especially not if you're allegedly using the money for your glam squad. You know, no ma'am, no ma'am, I cannot. Page six posted an article this morning about Erica's spending. So they are alleging that Erica Jane, her company, her LLC has received and spent $25 million of money from Tom's law firm. That is what they are alleging. Page six broke down some of the spending. They are saying from 2008 to 2020, Erica spent $14,259,012.84 on her American Express card. They are also saying that she spent $1,532,000 to an agency that hires dancers. 
So I'm assuming that's the backup dancers for her videos. I'm not really sure. They also said there was another $1,417,587.50 spent on unknown purchases. They stated that she paid a lady named Stephanie, a former executive assistant of Kim Kardashian's $102,596.77 and a beauty company $17,415. They're also stating that E5 Global Media who publishes this billboard plus the Hollywood Reporter receives $8,480 while the Los Angeles Times received a payment of $10,400. What is going on? And they are also saying that allegedly $28 million is owed from Erica Jane. That's all alleged because I don't know these people and this is what page six is reporting. And I'm just saying, girl, cut the crap. And also today it has come out that allegedly the Pasadena Police Department has been searching for any kind of police records or reports that there was an accident involving Erica's husband. They have nothing, zilch, zero, absolutely nothing on this accident. And they're wondering if somebody's husband went over a cliff, was unconscious, but somehow called you, then somehow showed up at the house and then somehow might have been out with a woman, it would have made it into the daggone police report. Some police officer would have been called, an ambulance would have been called. I mean, some documentation of this accident. But allegedly, the Pasadena police said, uh, we've got nothing. Okay, now listen. This is looking bad. This is looking real bad. All of this alleged situation. Anyway, Sutton tells the girls that she heard that one of the lawyers left the law firm 10 years ago when his wife said that she felt that something fishy was going on, something was up there, and he left. And that was 10 years ago. And then Lisa Renna jumps in and makes the comment that his own son-in-law recently left the firm. Okay. Do you not believe Erica? I think she has lied to us. You do? I, I do. And it started with the three years ago head injury that was a broken ankle. Being told he had a broken ankle and then hearing this later is a little, little weird. There's stuff that's not adding up to me. There are some, you know. Discrepancies. Discrepancies. Yes, there are. Because I felt like when we were on the mountain, it was very clear to me that it all started when three years the ago. accident, Absolutely. right? Yeah. And then reading and the it article, and it didn't start three years ago. I don't buy it. You don't buy what, the, the whole I accident? don't buy the three year package. Well, that says a lot. It really does. I agree with her. Absolutely. No, you're not getting told the truth. But why would they think they would? You know, if Erica is guilty of this, why would she come out on national TV or anywhere else and say, yes, I knew about it, I'm guilty. Of course she's not going to say that. She is not going to give you the full truth. I think all of this is a full-on scam, allegedly, in my opinion. I think that she found out what was going on at some point. Tom said, oh my God, the crap has hit the fan. The feds is watching. They are about to come and seize up everything. We are about to lose it all. Oh my God, there was an accident three years ago. Oh my goodness, bumped my head, unconscious, came home. I mean, they tried to put this whole story together. We've got to file for divorce. I've got to try to get you separated from this somehow. Oh my gosh, where can we stash this money? You think they'll take it in Switzerland? I don't know, I'm just saying. This is all a legend. These are just my opinions. My mind goes like this sometimes, okay? I haven't even had any caffeine. Oh, I'm all over the place. Anyway, moving on. So 10 years ago is when it started to be found out that he was not paying settlement money. Right. And Erica is suggesting that three years ago there was this pivotal accident. Correct. That changed, yes, changed yeah. everything. Yeah. Everything. And then his attorneys are now saying that he is mentally incapable right. over the last three years. Erica is saying the exact same thing the lawyers are saying, but yet there is evidence they've been to in, show. I think they've talked. Well, here's... Well. Who? Erica and Tom's lawyers? Mm-hmm. All right, now, so we got action. 
Okay, we got action. Listen, now that Sutton is putting out what she knows, now all of a sudden everyone's starting to think. They're starting to think about it. The story was crazy. One minute she's sitting there telling you that Tom had this accident, um, he was unconscious, he didn't come home. The next thing she says, she found him. Then she tells you that he shows up home and she thought he was out with his mistress. Buddy, 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 this story does not sound right. And that's the difference between me and those ladies because right in that moment, I would have said, now what is it? Did you go out back and find him hanging over the cliff? Um, did you go out back and walk out and he was unconscious out there sitting on the porch? Um, were you sitting at home pacing the floors thinking he was out with some other woman? And then he showed up at the door. Which story is it? Did you find him? Did you not find him? Did he come home? Was he conscious? Was he not conscious? Did he fall over a cliff? Did anybody call 911 for the broken ankle? Did he have a bad collarbone fracture? The man is up in age and he done went over a cliff. I don't know. Who fixed the car? Can somebody investigate the repair of this car? Anyway, moving on. Tom misappropriated at least $2 million of funds of orphans and widows' money. That Marie, is sickening that is, to it me. It is, wow. Do people think it's hidden or they think it's actually all gone? Gone. Girls, they spent it. Why is all this? All of it. What, what do you think they did? That's they a, buried it somewhere? Of... Sutton is right. You know, Sutton is absolutely right. It's as if Sutton sat down with a forensic investigator and a detective. She says she knows what two plus two mean. And Erica's story is not adding up to four at all. No, it's adding up to 28 million. Dorit has finally opened up her mind. You know, Sutton has spoken and the floodgates have opened. So now Dorit wants to come in and start asking questions. Now they showed a little flashback of Tom and it said it was from one year ago. Tom was in his right mind. They can stop playing this game now. Listen. <laughs> Sutton is trying to win my heart. She really is. Out of nowhere, this woman pulls out notes, typed up notes, okay? She has decided that she is truly going to write down her thoughts. She wants to solve this puzzle. Sutton is speaking facts. She did not come to play games. She's not fooling around with Erica. She thinks all of this is crazy and Sutton acts weird. She acts crazy. But one thing is for sure, Sutton is not dumb. And one thing she doesn't play about is money and her reputation. She is really Southern. Southern people, their reputation means the world to them. No, I, I'm with Sutton here. Kyle then makes the statement that she is there for you as a friend when you're broke. She is there for you when you and your husband are going through a separation. She is there for you when you are just down on your luck and you're going through craziness. However, she is not there for you when you have allegedly stolen money from alleged victims that is where she has to jump ship she needs to jump in and start asking the hard questions you know at that same time crystal was saying the same thing she says this is weird this doesn't add up sudden is saying the same thing allegedly according to the new york times this is a ponzi scheme that has been going on for 10 years or more that's a lot different from oh my gosh he had this accident, he fell off a cliff three years ago and he hasn't been right in the head ever since. That's all a plan. Now, Kyle is having a Christmas dinner and she has invited all the girls over and that's when they're supposed to hit Erica with the hard questions. Kyle's dinner actually did look really good. She says that she cooked it herself and that the people helping her in the kitchen were just basting for her. I don't know if I believe it or not, but anyway, everything looked delicious. And if she made that herself, I say hats off to you, Kyle. What's your deal with Teddy? I don't know. She's kind of annoying for no reason. Like a little nap. <laughs> oh, God. You know what? I agree. I agree, Garcelle. Oh, my gosh. So all the ladies arrive. They're all looking absolutely gorgeous. Erica is the last one to arrive. And I did notice that all the ladies showed up and, you know, how they get driven there by the Bravo SUVs and picked up. Erica drove herself and I thought, 
that's different. Well, she shows up and before, you know, she could get in, Lisa Renna is telling everybody, remember, innocent until proven guilty. Now, when Erica gets there, she's a little standoffish. She's a little dry. And I think that Erica knew about that meeting before she got there. I feel that Lisa Renna dropped a little dime and told Erica about that meeting because Erica was extremely odd and it just seemed as if she knew what was going on before she got there. Erica and Garcelle did not speak. Erica gave Garcelle a little wink and Garcelle gave her a little smile and that was it. There was no hello or any of that. And Sutton tried to convince Garcelle to speak to Erica and she said, no, she's fine. We all read it. And the timeline was confusing for me. And my biggest question was, I was so sad about Tom and what happened three years ago, and things started happening before three years. So that, for me, was my question. I don't know. I know what I've seen in the last three and a half, almost four years. You know, well, that's the burn the victim thing was 10 years ago. Now, did anybody notice that the time had changed? It went from three years to now it's three and a half to four years since this whole accident, you know, the cliff. Um, but Sutton was quick to mention, no ma'am, this starts 10 years ago. So this three and a half, four year story, uh-uh, he should have fell off the cliff 11 years ago for the story to fit, you know. She lets them know that she's not gonna be answering anyone's questions, which is good because I'm sure your law firm would be highly ticked if they found out you were answering questions. No one is looking to no one. pry into, I understand. That's not what and you I said think the anyone, other night. I think anyone That's not what you said understand. the other night. What you said the other night. Let me finish. I don't remember Jury being that supportive when we all had our sister circle moment. You know what? I would Garcelle keep that same energy. That's what I don't like. All of a sudden, Erica is right here in these ladies' face, and now all of a sudden it's crickets. They're all frightened, it seems. All of a sudden, they're little baby birds waiting for Erica to mouth feed them little tiny pieces of information. Uh-uh, where's the backbone? Step up now and ask her those questions. Give that same energy. To make sure that we have as much knowledge. I don't knowledge. think it's we. You took a very different Who's stance. You took a, let's, let's, but I, you, let's you took get a very real clear. Stance. Okay, let's wait a minute. Clear now. You need to say what happened on Saturday yeah, night. I'm saying Like right if now. she walked through the door, you said, That's I right. would tell her I'm exactly. Right. Be real. Okay, Lisa, I'm doing that right now. Okay. But she's going through a lot. So yes, I'm she not. is. I absolutely do not like Lisa Renna and never will. She tried to throw Sutton under the bus and Sutton, you know what? I think that Sutton tried to talk to Erica, but she lost a little bit of her edge as well. And I think that's because Sutton doesn't like confrontation and she doesn't handle it well and she'll cry. But Lisa kept trying to shove Sutton to say something. And you know what, Lisa, shut it. Okay, a question comes up about the lawyer. Everybody gets real quiet. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sutton spoke to a lawyer. Dorit spoke to PK and Boy George and Kyle called Faye's husband a lawyer, say that. So then finally Kyle did admit that she's, I talked to Faye's husband, you know, yes, yeah, say something. But the victims are the most important thing. You'll always be okay. Yeah, the victims, um need to be taken care of. Absolutely, and that's where I'm coming from. Right. That's where everyone's coming from. That's where everybody I haven't heard it. I really do appreciate Garcelle speaking up. This is not all right. This is not all right. It's almost as if they set Sutton up. They knew this was gonna happen and they're just saying, oh, let Sutton do all the dirty work and we'll sit back and collect the information and still pretend that we're team Erica. Who is believing that she didn't know what was in that LLC? After page six relinquished all the information of all the spending, all of that stuff was supposed to be connected to that LLC. You don't know. I mean, you know if you have a business, if your business is making $25 million, and if your business is not making $25 million, uh, ma'am, where was this money from? Uh-uh. Now listen, there was this lawyer on um, yesterday 
who said exactly what Sutton says. If you have an LLC and it is in your name, even if you have no clue where the money came from, you are on the hook for it because that is your business. Absolutely. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. I do not believe that you had a whole LLC with 20 some million dollars in it and you had no access to see the books. You had access to swipe those cards. You had access to pay for everything. Nope. You know what? I'm just glad that somebody came out and said something about those victims. The victims are what matters. And she's making this comment that the victims deserve their money back. Well, listen, according to the courts and page six, allegedly you spent their money. So you can be on the hook for this. You know, I did like that at the very end, sudden approach to read. And she said, so I thought that we were on the same page, but it really seems as if you threw me under the bus here. It seems that all of you girls got together and decided to throw me under the bus. And it really felt that way. It seemed as if it was all the girls against Sutton and Garcelle. Sutton and Garcelle were the only ones speaking up saying anything. Everybody else was, oh, Erica, we feel so sorry for you. Erica, we know that you're innocent. Erica, we don't believe any of this stuff. Oh my God, Erica. You know, and then Erica making that comment earlier to Sutton about the LA Times article that you read so thoroughly. And then Sutton says, well, I'm sorry. I tell you what, I would have told her, you are right. I read that article several times, you know, because it was in the LA Times and it's public. I'm allowed to read it, okay? As a matter of fact, I printed it out and I have it in my purse. Don't get smart with me. You guys, listen, get down in the comments. Let me know what you think. What did I miss? How do you feel about Erica? Is she innocent? Is she guilty in your opinion? And all of this is alleged because I don't know these people and my opinions. And anyway, you guys, until next time, bye.